More than half the Australian team is already in New Delhi, including the swimmers, who face a big test at these games. Traditionally number two in the world behind the United States, Australia has slipped to fifth and has much work to do to prepare for the London Olympics in two years' time. In New Delhi, the team will be investing a great deal of hope in a host of young swimmers, especially Emily Seabom, who has already displayed the talent and the drive to take on the world. Paul Lockyer reports. Let's go. Emily Seabom is on the rack, swimming against a 35 kilogram weight. She's renowned for her determination and a fierce desire to win. Good, 7.44. 7.44. Oh, I guess it's just getting in there and smashing people, you know. I'm always really competitive. Seabomb inside the world record at the moment. Did she make it? She's got it! She's done it! Woo! World record number two on the opening night for a 15-year-old. She's broken world records at a very young age and she's got an arsenal of, of events that people would just dream about. Seabomb's enormous potential was spotted early by coach Matt Brown. She showed straight up that she could race. She had the talent and she loved to race. But just watching the development of her, you know, from the age of 10, 11, right to where she is now, it's just been great to be part of. <laughs> <laughs> 200 kick, I want it sub three. <laughs> sub 315 on the kick, and you can swim nice and comfy. Coach and swimmer have drawn up some very ambitious long-term at first, it was like we said, well, let's see if you can be the new Michael, female Michael Phelps. And, and I thought, after a while, I said, no, nah, let's not think of female Michael Phelps. Let's be the, the first Emily Seabom. And I think she's really stepped into that mode very well. He's climbed the biggest mountain in American Olympic sport. Any comparison with Phelps, who won eight gold medals at the Beijing Olympics, is cause for great excitement in Australian swimming. Like Phelps, Seabom has the variety of strokes and the stamina to compete across a wide range of events. She's entered in eight of the Commonwealth Games. I need the focus on not just one event, but a lot of different events. It's just easier for me to handle myself. She has versatility. She can swim very fast in the 100 freestyle, backstroke, obviously, the medley, and also butterfly. So, you know, she can pick the events that suit her in the, uh, in the schedule of events and be competitive for us, so that's a bonus. She's shown great resolve here, Emily Seabom. We know she's quick, over 100 free. Seabom displayed her versatility at the recent Pan Pacific Championships. Having already won the 50 metres backstroke, she was hunting for victory in the 200 individual medley. There's no way anyone was going to go past her. She has that determination and that courage that you look for in the athletes that can win. Make it 15 metres left to swim. Emily Seabom of Australia. Can she do it on the line? It's Emily Seabom that wins. I was just amazed and I was just like, well, now it's my time to show everyone what I can do and everything else, you know, stretch my wings. A wonderful moment for Emily Seabom. And just the maturity she showed, like, she was really at ease with the, the environment she was in, you know. She was, She's blossoming into a, into a young lady rather than a little girl, and, and you could see that. It's just great pride, both of us, and mm -hmm. as a family, as a whole, we're all quite excited about what Emily does, and we all enjoy the ride, I suppose. So what do you got planned today? Um, PT this morning, and then... Karen Seabom can barely contain her pride when she watches her daughter swim. I feel like I'm actually swimming every, <laughs> every single stroke with her, and... Um, yeah, it's, it's just incredibly exciting for all of us. And you're basically watching the clock and then watching her and watching the clock. And I just tell her to chill out all the time, but she doesn't listen. Emily's parents both achieved at high levels in sport. Karen in netball, John Seabom in Australian rules football. Do you have to pinch yourself sometimes, even though you've had your great sporting careers, that you've got somebody like this in the house? Yeah, we, we All do. the time, yeah. yeah. We, we even spoke about the Pam Pax. Yeah. Who would believe, you know? Yeah. Like, and we say it quite regularly, who would believe? That that's mm. our daughter. And John <laughs> just said, are you kidding me? Is that our daughter there? We just looked at each other and went, man, that is awesome. The baby of the Australian team at just 15 years of age. She was a schoolgirl when she won her way to the Beijing Olympics. A turning point in this sporting success story involves this bike. 
Emily Seaborn left the athletes' village in Beijing during the Olympics to purchase this and ride it back. The only problem was that it was on the eve of her final important race. And when the coaches found out, they were furious. I just knew that I was in so much trouble. <laughs> I was so upset. Our national head coach, Alan Thompson. Alan Thompson, the head coach at the Beijing Games, castigated the teenager and said he'd have to reconsider her place in the medley relay. I was so upset the whole night. I just really wanted to be in that relay. And then in the morning I was told that I was in and I was, it was just a big relief for me. And I get in there and I was so nervous that I actually swam good. So what responsibility on the shoulders of this youngest team member for Australia? Emily Seabom provided a great start for the Australian team, producing her best swim of the games. The most amazing thing I've ever felt. You know, I got to the wall and I was like, what? That's my time? Like, I was just so amazed with it. That was a beautiful changeover, wonderful start, good swimming. Her backstroke leg helped to set up a gold medal performance that smashed the world record. Libby hanging on, and the Aussies have done it. The coaches who had been chastising Emily Seabom were delighted at the way she had responded to the pressure. From what I've seen, I think she's developing into somebody who just thrives on challenge. She's turned into a real tough so-and-so. And there's a gold medal around her neck. Yeah. And a bike in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bike was just the icing on the cake, yeah. really. Emily Seabom's cycling is now confined to an exercise bike at the gym. There are high hopes for her at the Commonwealth Games, but her coach believes the best lies further ahead, perhaps at the London Olympics in two years' time. She's now just starting to get physically stronger, so for the next few years, it's, it's, it's going to be the, like a very exciting ride. And this is just what I love to do, and if, for people to notice me doing something I love is really nice. Plenty of notice in the next few days. Paul Lockyer with that report.